Health Focus is brought to you by National Medical Stores, NMS. Passionate about your life. Viruses constantly change through mutation, and new variants are expected to occur over time. Sometimes, new variants emerge and disappear. Other times, new variants emerge and persist. Since the pandemic started, we have been studying the viruses that we have. The first report we gave, the viruses we saw, were very similar to where the individuals were coming from, because the initial infections were mostly in travelers. So those who came from US, the virus was very close to the virus in the US. Those who came from UK, those from the, came from the Middle East, it was very close and we have been following. But of recent, we have seen some dominance of one of the uh, variants. The virus that causes COVID-19 is a type of coronavirus, a large family of viruses. Coronaviruses are named for the crown-like spikes on their surfaces. Scientists monitor changes in the virus, including changes to the spikes on the surface of the virus. These studies, including genetic analyses of the virus, are helping scientists understand how changes to the virus might affect how it spreads and what happens to people who are infected with it. And that is what worries scientists. What has been strange with the variants the minister talked about in the UK, South Africa and Brazil there were many mutations at the same time, and some of these mutations uh, were in the spike protein, and they are leading to an increase in transmission, and for South Africa, leading to uh, non-sensitivity to the vaccine. And this is what you should know about mutations. The recent viruses we have sequenced in Uganda, we are also seeing mutations coming in, including mutations in the spike region. We have not seen the variants that have the 501 mutation that has been reported elsewhere, but our viruses are also mutating. And what we are going to do is to continue monitoring. The health experts say compliance with public health mitigation strategies such as vaccination, physical distancing, use of masks, among others, is essential to limit the spread of the virus that causes COVID-19 and protect public health. That phased in introduction of vaccines will also require us to have some mechanism of showing how these vaccines do work against our variants that we have. We shall put together protocols that will be reviewed through clinical studies, through lab studies, to make sure that we go in phases as we um, uh, roll out vaccines, we continue monitoring how the efficacy, effectiveness of these vaccines against our variants. Uganda has planned to have at least 60% of its population vaccinated in order to attain herd immunity. When more and more people are vaccinated, the population as a group will get protected from a disease by the fact that there are many people who are immune to the disease and they interrupt the transmission. So this is what is referred to as herd immunity. Walter Mwesi J, NTV. National Medical Stores, NMS, passionate about your life with support from the Ministry of Health. Procure, store and distribute essential medicine and medical supplies to all government health facilities in Uganda.